Hello and welcome to Curse of the Dead Gods. Um, uh, let's. I think this is a lot that I like. Yeah, the only thing that I don't like is the whip. Um, but two-handed and claws. Try it. We'll try it. I've got to decide if I'm gonna go two-handed weapons or claws right now. Yeah, I gotta decide. Um, I think I want to go heavy champions for you know. Hold on, before I do that, let me look at my blessings. Cause isn't there a blessing after f defeating an enemy with your main or secondary weapon? Your two-handed weapon deals fifty percent more damage, and vice versa. Okay. Isn't there one where we get better or more? Non-optional champions or bosses drop five pieces of gear instead of two. But that's non-optional. So that's going to be only the final one. So that's not nearly as much as I was hoping it would be. Um... Because what do I have on now? I have Reptilian Hunger. I have Eagle's Fascination. And Divine Perception. I think I do Unquenchable Thirst. And then I replace Divine Perception with that. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and use our jade rings. All right. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Now I'm set to go in. Okay. Uh, I still want to do the champions. For their gear. Not necessarily for... Corruption and um, curse reduction, but definitely for their gear. I'm gonna, I want to try and maximize the amount of um, gear. Plus, also, I'm trying to farm up um, gold or crystal skulls and stuff. Granted, I think it's probably better to do um, that kind of farming with the optional um, things, right? Have to imagine. All right, let's do one room with uh, primary and secondaries, and see what we like more. So that, all right, that's one, not an entire room. I'll do an encounter with that, and then we'll see how. Uh, I like this hammer. I. We're doing a hammer run. We're doing a hammer run. Yep, that's it's decided. We're doing a hammer run. I like that hammer. I like that hammer so much. Like, oh my gosh, do I like that hammer. Oh, I like that hammer. Ah, I did not like that. Did not like that at all. But we got our um, greed counter up again. Uh, we'll go ahead and take that. Increase our 
constitution a little bit with that relic right off the bat. And it is a attribute time. For attribute, I think I actually want to go for um, perception. Try and increase the quality and the amount of what we find. Um, I think I gotta go relic as well. Let's see what's over here. Wasn't anything over here either. I really like this hammer. That is a different whip. Uh, we're not using whips, so I'm just going to... All weapons now are just going to be offered to the gods. The only way that I don't offer it to the god is if we get a stupendous um, two-handed weapon. Such as the good old Jaguar one. But I doubt we'll find that. Okay, um, that one might actually be worth it. I'm going to re-roll these with my favors, though. Um, oh, I would really, really love the Amber Pendant, but I would also really like to keep my Corruption in check with a Ring of Purity. And the Ring of Purity is saying that it removes two per... Two on corruption um, is really good. So I think I've got to go ring of purity. Now that does get put us up to nine perception. So hopefully with um, with this champion, I'll be able to finesse a decent drop. Regular enemy summon vermin. That's not bad. That's not bad. I can I can deal with that. I can deal with that, certainly. Alright, we're facing the witch, right? Yeah. Light you on fire. Keep distance. And just play this smartly. That's not smart. Woo! Bait her attack. Ah. Bait the attack. We got this. We got this. This is going to be a little bit slower than usual. Because I've just... Got to bait the attacks out. She's halfway. Why did I say it like that? That felt wrong in my mouth as it came out. That that was I should have done that. That was actually kind of risky of where I did that. Last quarter. Oh, why did I... Not having 
not being able to quickly switch between um, primary and the other one, it real, real sucks. Bait the attack. Yep. I probably could have been a little bit more aggressive with her. I played real, real conservatively with that one. Probably could have done a little bit more aggressive on that. As for this, um, I don't see us really keeping that much gold on us. But why not? And as for this, um, I'll take the gold. Onto a new weapon, which we will prob most likely not take. I'll take a peek at it, of course, but uh, we're most likely not going to take the weapon. Good corruption kills here. No, no, that just took off all of my corruption. Ah, oh, that sucked. All right, any hidden walls for us to go behind? No. Very short room. Um. Yeah. Nothing. Oh, wait, what was that? What was that? What was that? Automatic dodge in darkness, weakened. Nothing that I really am interested in. No. So I'm going to go against the second champion. Gold on ground, more gold on ground. That's fine. It's not going to really matter because we're going to instantly um, lose that curse. You know what? I'll take it for now. I think I'll get better um, return on that by um, keeping it in my pocket. As long as I go through two doors. Still only at 9 perception, so I don't think we're getting any real good bonuses to found loot. Dodged a little bit too much there. Nope. Oh, jeez. The stamina is a problem. The stamina is a big problem here. Yeah, stamina is actually turning into a real big problem for me with the... With the, um... Hammer. Need the hammer to be a little bit more powerful so that we can kill a little bit faster. That way we can keep that stamina going up. Now, I don't know you really well, so I've got to just... Be careful with him. Oh! Oh, 
have stamina. Oh, you, you back looked out of my attack as you were weakened. Smart and annoying. Oh, jeez. We are doing real bad against this boss. Please don't filter me at the first champ at the first real boss. Maybe hammer was the uh, incorrect uh, choice of weapon here. Yeah, I think it was the wrong choice of weapon here. If we can get him weakened, it actually does pretty good. Oh, I'm, I'm just too early with that one. We didn't get filtered, but damn, it was a... Uh, we're not even at the first champion, actually. I just realized that was the sub-champion. We've got three things. Um, I mean, I've got to take that one, right? I, it's, it's useless. It is pointless to offer to a god. Definitely offer that to the god, though, and offer that to my gods. Because we need that. Okay, so now we've got that. That's real nice. So maybe I should start pivoting away from... Yeah, maybe I need to not do the uh, hammer. It might be better to pivot off of the hammer and into uh, the claw. I don't know. The claw's doing real good. Um, but the hammer's still really nice. I still really enjoy the hammer. I think the hammer just feels real nice to play around with. And it swings and hits hard, which is a monster that I've been carrying since Monster Hunter. <laughs> All right. So that would increase that to from 36 to 43. Or we go from 15 to 18. I think I go hammer. Going hammer. I'm hoping that I don't get um, filtered here. I'm most likely I'm going to get filtered here, but I can hope, right? No! I'm out of stamina, that's why. Me. 
<laughs> oh, I got filtered. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, oh, son of a gun. All right, thank you guys for watching this episode of Curse of the Dead Gods. I hope you guys had a great time. If you did, click that like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a great deal. I'll see you next time, and I hope you guys have a great day.